Hi, I'm Kate, also known as The Daily Tarot Girl, and in this video, I'm going to share my brand new daily tarot practice that I just started playing around with and I'm having so much fun with it. I can't wait to share. So before we get into the video, I just want to remind you, if you enjoy this video, please like, please subscribe, uh, please leave me a comment. And if you turn on the little notifications bell, you'll be notified the next time I plan on going live to do free one card readings or the next time I'm offering a, an event or a workshop, you'll be the first to know. All right, so today's video and the daily tarot practice that I'm about to share with you is inspired by this book. So this is Mary Kay Greer's book, Who Are You in the Tarot? And this is a great book. I highly recommend it. She teaches you how to calculate your birth cards. So your personality cards, your soul cards, your year cards. And I, I have been like just burning through this book and staying up till like 4 a.m. some nights, 3 a.m., 4 a.m. Just like reading this book because I'm loving it so much. So the daily tarot practice that I've just started using was inspired by that book. So uh, everything that I'm going to share with you is also going to be written in blog post format. So I'm going to put the link to my blog post below this video if you'd rather read what I'm about to tell you. Okay, so my daily tarot practice. First thing in the morning before I start the day, I get my tarot cards out and I calculate my tarot card of the day. And I do this by taking today's date and adding up all the numbers until I get a number that is under 23. So because we're going to be only using the major arcana cards um, for this exercise, you want a number that is under 23. So 22 or beneath that. So you're going to take the uh, month, day, year of today's date, and you're going to add all those numbers together. So the day that I'm filming this is September 24th, 2024. So I would take, you know, zero, nine, plus 24, plus 2024, and the number that I got was 23. Now, because there's no corresponding tarot card here, we have to add these two numbers together, so we get number five. So now we find the corresponding tarot card to number five, which is the Hierophant. So today, or by the time you're watching this, this won't be the card of the day, but <laughs> the day I'm filming this, the card of the day is the Hierophant. So the card of the day is basically kind of like the general energy of the day, the general temperature of the day. And it might also symbolize a person that you might encounter today, a situation, an event, an experience that you might have. So when I calculate my card of the day, I spend a few moments contemplating this card and thinking about what this card kind of means to me, how, how it might show up today. And if you like tarot journaling, you can do some notes in your tarot journal. If I tarot journal, I keep it really simple for this exercise. Uh, mainly because I don't like a big, bulky, time-consuming morning routine. <laughs> I just want to keep it really easy, really simple. So I might jot down a few keywords with, with this card, a few phrases, a few ideas, or sometimes I don't even bother doing that. So it's totally up to you. And then at the end of your day, you're going to pull this card out again, and you're going to take a second look, and you're going to ask yourself, how did this card show up for me today? So for example, so how I did this with the Hierophant, um, when I first sat with the Hierophant, I thought, okay, maybe it's telling, this card is telling me I'm going to encounter some sort of authority figure, or um, I'm going to experience some kind of like hierarchy, or I'm going to be interacting with some kind of institution of some sort, or maybe I'm going to be told that I have to follow the rules or something like that. So that was my first kind of impression. Um, but then at the end of the day, and the day is only half over, <laughs> but I looked at this card again, sort of partway through the day, and I could see that my original take on the card wasn't really panning out in my day. And I instead, I could see that the Hierophant was showing me that today was a day where structures and plans and rules were really important. 
And so far, like I started my day with this really concise plan. And so far I followed it. And I even, uh, I woke up in the morning and I started my day with a workout and I watched a YouTube video that was like a 30 minute workout. And it was a fitness instructor who was like leading me through a workout and telling me what exercises to do. And this is very hierophanty, I think, because I, in that situation, I was a follower. She was telling me what to do. I was following along. Um, so very, very hierophanty. <laughs> so that's how the hierophant so far has showed up for me today. All right. Um, so what I've shared right here, this is a great daily tarot practice to do on its own. I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can add on to that and make it a little more complex if you're a complex kind of person and you like things to be a little more complicated. Um, but what I've shared already, like just the calculating the date, adding it up, finding the tarot card, that in itself is a really fun, easy and powerful daily tarot practice to do. But I'm going to tell you how you can add on to that. Okay, so I'm just going to switch my note sheet here. So I'm going to tell you how to make it a little more personal. And you're going to incorporate your personality card into the mix. So you're going to start by figuring out what your personality card is. So you calculate your personality card by adding up all the numbers in your birth date. So let's say my birth date is October 7th, 1987. It's not, but let's just say that it is. <laughs> so I'm going to add up all these numbers and I get the number 42. Now remember, we need a number that's below 23. Um, so I'm going to add four plus two. Now I get number six. And so now you're going to find the major arcana card that corresponds with that number. Um, so if this was my birthday, my personality card would be the lovers because that's number six in the major arcana. Now your personality card, it reflects your personality, your life's mission and your goals and values. Now my uh, personality card is the emperor. And in some ways, I really do not identify with this card. <laughs> like I think of the emperor as being kind of bossy and controlling and stubborn and kind of set in his ways. I'm not like that at all. That's not my personality. However, I am very independent. I'm fiercely independent and I like to do things my way. I like to walk my own path. Um, I like to do my own thing. I do like to be in control, not of other people and not of situations, but I like to be in control of myself and my choices and my options. Um, so in that way, I very much am like the emperor. Um, okay, so, so what you're going to do once you calculate your personality card, you're going to put it next to the card of the day. So today my card of the day, uh, or the card of the day is um, the Hierophant. And my personality card is the emperor. So I'm going to put those two cards side by side and just notice how they interact. So notice how your personality card interacts with the card of the day. Do they clash? Do they go together well? Uh, and feel free to journal about this in your tarot journal. Um, so a couple of different ways that I did this is my first, the first time I looked at the Hierophant and, uh, the emperor together, I thought, oh, this looks like they clash. Like the Hierophant is telling the emperor what to do and the emperor is like, no, I'm doing things my way. Um, but that didn't pan out for me today. Uh, that wasn't something that I really experienced today. Um, but I can see now that these two cards together are telling me that if I want to be like the emperor and be powerful, I have to have some sort of structure or plan to follow, which is the Hierophant. That's what he represents. All right, so let's go even deeper. And if you feel like sharing, feel free to share with me what your personality card was and if you can connect with that card or not. Um, so you can share with me in the comments below and I'm going to share with you uh, how to take things even deeper. Uh, so I'm going to get you to calculate your 
inner card of the day. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the number of your personality card and you're going to add it to the number of the card of the day. So in my case, um, my personality card is number four, the emperor, and adding that to the hierophant number five brings me number nine, which is the hermit. So the hermit is my inner card of the day. Now your inner card of the day shows you how you may internally experience your day. So it highlights maybe some of your like inner thoughts, inner feelings, challenges, or desires that might come up for you today. So for me, the hermit, uh, this might indicate that I'm gonna feel more introverted today. I might want more alone time than usual. I might find myself kind of avoiding conversations and interactions, and maybe even prioritizing spirituality over other things today. And so far, even though the day is only halfway over, I can see how that card is actually quite accurate. So take a moment to calculate your inner card of the day. And once you've calculated that card, and it should be pretty easy, it should be pretty quick. <laughs> Once you've figured out what that card is, have a look at that card and think, okay, what does this card mean to me? What message does it maybe have for me about my day ahead? And at the end of your day, you can look at this card again and ask, how did this card show up for me today? And if you'd like to tarot journal, you can journal about it. You can make some simple notes on this. But this is a really fun kind of personal way to interact with our cards and learn more about them. So I just want to share a, a quick little story here. <laughs> Yesterday, my inner card of the day was strength. And strength, you know, shows a woman with a lion, with a big cat. And yesterday I had to take my foster kitty to the vet. And so I had to start the day off by giving her a pill to, that kind of calms her nerves and then putting her into a carrier and taking her to the vet. All cats hate going to the vet, but this cat in particular really, really, really hates going to the vet. She hates being put in a carrier and she will not take a pill. I, I've tried pilling her in the past and I have been unsuccessful every single time. So I started by putting the pill crushed up in her food. She took one taste and was like, I'm not eating the rest. <laughs> so then I got my pill shooter, which is a long kind of, it's like a pencil and you put the pill in one end and then there's like a little trigger on the other end and you just kind of put it in their mouth and then shoot it in. So I tried doing that by putting my hand on the back of her head, bringing the thing towards her face and she just flipped out. She would not take it. So I was like, okay, well, I guess we're not doing this pill thing then. So then I'm just sitting there with the pill shooter just kind of on my lap and she comes up and she starts sniffing the pill shooter and then she puts it in her mouth and bites on the end of it. And then I just went like that. <laughs> shot the pill in her mouth and she just swallowed it and then just like kind of dozed a little bit on my lap and I was like that was so easy and so I just I just want to share that story because I feel like the strength card just like totally illustrates that like the that being gentle um is the way to go and so by being super gentle and not even trying to give her the pill that's when I was able to give her the pill <laughs> Okay, so now you have three cards to contemplate. You have your card of the day, which is today's date added up. You have your personality card, which is your birth date added up. And then you have your inner card of the day, which is your personality card and the card of the day combined to bring you a number. So you have three cards to contemplate. Now, personally, as a daily tarot practice, I like to keep things really simple. Um, so you can choose just one thing to focus on. So you might just focus on the card of the day, or you might just focus on your inner card of the day if looking at all three is kind of too overwhelming. But you can also compare and contrast your inner card of the day with the card of the day. So for me, I have um, the Hermit as my inner card of the day, the Hierophant is my card of the day, or you could say my outer card of the day, 
And isn't that interesting that these are kind of similar? They're both spiritual cards, but they're very different. Like the Hierophant is about your own spiritual connection and going inward, whereas the Hierophant is more about looking outside yourself to find that connection to spirituality. Um, I think the Hierophant to me represents kind of going through certain motions and rituals and steps uh, in order to get closer to God, whereas the, the Hermit is more about finding your own way and your own internal practice. Anyway, <laughs> so it can be interesting to kind of compare and contrast those two cards. So a question I have for you is what is your inner card of the day? If you feel like just quickly pausing this video, calculate what that card is and share with me in the comments, I'd be really, really fascinated to know. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you give this daily tarot practice a try. And of course, everything that I've talked about in this video is in my blog post, which I'll link to below. Um, so give it a try. Let me know how it goes. And don't forget to like and subscribe and share if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Kate, also known as the Daily Tarot Girl, and happy tarot reading.